Yeah, so beavers are keystone species and ecosystem engineers, right? These are these amazing rodents uh, who build dams, of course, as everybody knows, and those dams create ponds and wetlands. And, you know, I think as a lot of people don't realize, those ponds and wetlands provide so many different ecological services. I was talking with uh, Chuck Bonham and uh, Wade Crowfoot and uh, other, other members of uh, the staff of various uh, California natural resource agencies, including CDFW, um, about beavers and wildlife crossings, my two favorite uh, subjects and subjects of my, of my two books. And it was a great opportunity to uh, be able to speak to some of the decision makers and, and leaders who are actually uh, making California's landscapes uh, better, for, better for wildlife. I think, it, I think it really comes back to climate change. You know, we, we know that we're, we're losing our snowpack here in the American West, right? More precipitation is falling as rain rather than snow. And as a result, it's running off the landscape right away. And, you know, we need some way of keeping water on the landscape uh, for our, our rivers and streams and irrigation ditches. And beavers do that for us. I'm, a, I'm an angler, for example. I love to fish. And, you know, beavers create incredible fish habitat. Uh, you know, if you, if you don't want your community to be at wildfire risk, well, beavers create fantastic fire breaks and fire refuges on the, on the landscape. You know, if what you care about is drinking water, which all of us do, beavers are filtering out nitrates and phosphates and heavy metals from historic mining and all kinds of other pollutants. So, you know, whoever you are, whatever it is you care about, beavers are providing some important service. And you know, last year, uh, very famously, did its first beaver relocation in 75 years, which was an incredible landmark and, and milestone. So it's, you know, it's been exciting to uh, watch California uh, become a, a leader in beaver restoration uh, in the United States. To me, that's the story of beavers in a lot of, in a lot of ways, is a story of progress and hope and recovery. Here's this animal that we brought back from the brink, we're learning to live with. And, you know, to me, that's a, a really hopeful story uh, for the future of, of all wildlife recovery. So there's hope. Yeah, exactly. Beavers, you know, and beavers, beavers prove that, uh, I think, as much as any other species.